I took the lamp back strap and wrapped it in pancetta. Working with pancetta or prosciutto, that you must work with a very hot pan. So what we're doing now, we just got the pan on a flame, getting it really hot. You will always get a very hot pan without any condiment in it. If you don't put any oil or butter, the pan can reach up to 250, 300 degrees. 30, 40 seconds either side would be more than enough. Especially because we're gonna take the lamp strap after, once we sear it off on the pan, we're gonna put them as well into the tray and as the recipe says, we're gonna apply on the breadcrumb on top of it and then um, cook it under the salamander of your oven or a grill of your oven, whichever it is. As soon as we fry this one off, we put it back into the tray then we're gonna sprinkle it with the panko breadcrumb mix, which the, the breadcrumb is actually mixed in with the sage, um, rosemary, and other herbs. And then we're gonna apply it on top, temper a little bit onto the meat, and then crisp it under the grill of the salamander. The pan is still hot. We got a little bit of condiment from the pancetta, a little bit of oil. What we need to do, we need to add our mushroom in it. We're gonna fry the mushroom into that condiment. All the flavor is in there at this stage. What we need to do now is deglazing the pan. The action of deglazing is pretty much when you've done a roast meat or roast vegetable, whatever, and you're adding a liquid to the fry pan. And that, what it does, any liquid that you add in, it will actually lift up all the burn bits and the sticky bits and incorporate it to the sauce. It will make part of the sauce. And that's why you get a lot of flavor out of it. The beef stock we add in, as the recipe says, we add in a little bit of corn flour in it. Now the corn flour we add in, it will help us to thicken a little bit, like a demi-glaze sort of feature. 